Welcome back to the game. The country's youth baseball program is reaching new heights as the under-18 squad qualifies for the ASPAC Palomino team, the team roster for the first time in history. That's how big it is. And joining us are the members of the Philippine Palomino team, Ryu Garcia, Kyle Bautista, Mig Spaka, and Coach Junmar Giarao. Welcome to the game. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. First yeah. and foremost, right, for making history. Okay, Coach, begin you naman kami ng background muna dun sa... Um, the competition uh, uh, sa salihan natin uh, for the first time and how were they selected yung ating uh, mga bata? Uh, yung sa salihan po namin yan uh, league doon uh, andun yung mga top top teams in the world mm -hmm. hindi lang sa Asia andun yung Japan uh, I think Taipei okay. and then Australia I think. and then so yun uh, we prepare for this ano, tournament talaga since January hanggang mm -hmm. June po siya. Uh, six months hindi po siya, I think, uh, madali. Kasi, they are students eh. Siyempre. Uh, so, yeah. they study talaga? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, <laughs> sige. At clarify natin si Coach, hindi estudyante ha? Oo. Parang ano eh. Parang ano namin estudyante siya kalina eh. Oo. Oh, <laughs> then, marami silang activities. Andun pa yung, ano, yeah. uh, entrance exam sa mga colleges nila. Right, right. Yeah. Again, so, very difficult talaga. Oh, and under 18s ang lahat. So, yes. you all look under 18, don't worry. But, uh, <laughs> Migs, I want to start off with you first. No bias because I know you're from La Salle Zubel. <laughs> uh, you take a look at the process of getting in and being part of this team. From all different schools and trying to compete at a high level. Can you tell us a bit about how you got in and how the team was formed from your point of view? Tell us your position too, please. Yeah. Yes. So, I play second base, third base, and pitcher. And the way that I got into this team was because right now I'm 17, which is and the tournament is an under 18, so I hit the age cutoff. And I think the way I got selected was that my skill was on par with the highest level that we may have in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And my attitude towards the game of baseball and coaching and playing that I can be coached and I'm ready to give my all on the field no matter what happens. I like the attitude. I love that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Kyle, tell us uh, your position and tell us about the training and the preparation so far for this competition. Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm actually uh, one In of school, the... please. Yeah, yeah sure. School. Of course. So I'm actually one of the catchers for the team. So the one behind the home plate wearing gear. Yeah. Uh, I'm from South Green Hills. So, you know, especially since we've been starting for like only six months, it may seem like a long time, but it really isn't. For like something that we're training sure. for yeah. at this level, it's it's a different level, talaga. Yep. Nothing we've seen before. Mm -hmm. So like no expectations going yeah. in. So throughout the six months, of course, we had to miss a few practices due to like school conflicts yep. or extracurriculars, of course. And yeah, it's been really hard trying to get here, especially with the amount of fields we have currently, because mm -hmm. it's very limited. Mm -hmm. uh, especially since a lot of the baseball fields actually uh, were taken down, mm -hmm. turned to like different complexes, buildings during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. yeah also, especially right, right. Yeah, and you, pandemic. you guys have done nothing. Since 2019, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right? internationally, yeah. We haven't right, done anything internationally. 29, since 2019. Yeah, uh, Ryu, uh, I'm, I'm just going to say it out loud here, just to show no, so uh, there's no bias here. He is uh, from Ateneo de Manila and uh, <laughs> a champion with the Pasig Knights in yes. Little League Philippines in the series 2022. So, you meant, they mentioned it a while ago. Nagkahabul kayo in terms of preparation because not a lot has been happening in terms of international competition. Dagdag pressure ba yun? I, I, in terms of the urgency na kailangan nyo na to reach a certain level for the, by the tournament? Actually, it does add pressure to it as long as we know the competition is actually really hard, especially it, be, it being 19 under and me being the youngest in the team at mm. 15, it was actually making our expectations, oh, we gotta get to this level and try our best to compete against the best teams in the world. Mm -hmm. It just adds pressure to it, but we're gonna tackle it as a team itself. Yeah. And We've been preparing for it for six months. We've we've known each other for a while. We know how each other plays. So that's how we're gonna tackle it and prepare for the battle. Okay, Coach, um, yes. uh, gusto ko malaman ano ang sabi ni Kyle. No expectations, but obviously you set your own expectations for the competition. So ano expectations ng team pag pinag-usapan yun? At sino yung mga powerhouses dito na ano? Kasi gusto ko rin malaman saan tayo lulugar dito. Anong ranking natin historically yeah. coming into this competition? Mm -hmm. Like ano ano? Uh, Japan talaga. We look for Japan. Well, yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, Other than Japan, number see? one. <laughs> oh, number one talaga. Yes. No. Yeah, maybe we are the rank in China. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, China. Okay. And then we hope 
we, we, hindi pa namin nakikita yung ano eh, like Australia eh. So, so we, nakakapag-scout ba kayo? Do you, do you know the competition? Hindi rin. Actually, yeah. actually oh, though, please, our yeah. coaches, they send us videos of these prospects that play in different countries. Yeah. And of course, we're gonna get challenged by seeing them, seeing the skills that they have and what we need to tackle against them. Mm -hmm. So, we know how they'll play, we know how they're gonna approach us, but at, at the same time, we've also prepared for them. We know them better than they know us. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mentioning that again, where it's actually our first time to, um, playing in the Palomino tournament, yeah. the Palomino division rather. Correct. And they don't know us that well compared to us knowing them, how they play the sport, how they train for the sport. And it will just come out as us yeah. being underdogs for the tournament, mm -hmm. but it's actually really good because that means we have a better chance against them. Yeah. Just yeah. a clarification, yeah. right? I know Kai, you wanted to say something. Palomino is not a team, it's a division. Just, a division. Yes, just in case yeah. ma, yeah, yeah. Ma, ma lito, no? for those who are watching. Yes, you wanted so, you know, to say so something. Palomino is actually the division we're playing in. It's right. one of the brackets where, right. uh, for our specific division, it's 18 new. Uh, we're Team Philippines, of course, but yeah, we just Palomino is a division within baseball, right. so it's among one of the like 19 new, 18 new, mm -hmm. for specifically us. Yeah, so we'll be competing at 18 new. Migs, I mentioned ni Ryu that the teams that are gonna face you don't know you guys yet. How do you feel they're gonna know you once you actually play against them? What do you think is impression you're gonna leave upon your opponents during the game and after? I think the impression that we want to leave on our opponents is that as soon as we play our first game, we should come out hot and we should come out strong, trying to show the opponents that we are a good team and we aren't just an easy win. And I think that we have to show our best of the best in our first game and continue staying hot until our last game, hopefully winning the championship and moving on to the World Series. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just to add nga lang po, so, please. Uh, Actually, this is this comes to our advantage because we have the element of surprise. Mm -hmm. They have no expectations whatsoever. Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's Philippines, a new team. They're probably gonna be easy to beat, but we want to be able to show up and actually uh, plant our country as a, as an actual competitor mm -hmm. in this tournament. Especially right. since you know, it's one, it's the first time the Philippines actually competing at this level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything uh, internationally has been in lower levels for 16 new, 14 new. Mm. This is actually the first time the Philippines is actually competing at this level, Palomino. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so that, that's why it's an exciting time. Yeah. Coach, obviously the rest of the team is not here. Yeah. Pa yeah. Paano yung selection process? Ano yung uh, uh, thought process behind that? No. Uh, kasi may mga tournament din to mga to, yeah, Correct. Like right. that. Uh, we scout them. We scout okay. them. Then, Anong uh, naging ano mo? Parang uh, yung... yung uh, naging kategorya at ano yung mga naging Num qualities uh, like sila. Number one talaga is attitude of the player. Okay. Yeah. Dapat kailangan commitment to the team. Hindi lang basta-basta magaling ka pero alam mo yung hindi mo nabibigay yung time mo sa team. Mm -hmm. Kasi it's team sport eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman individual. So, yun. Sila yung nag-commit. Sila yung kahit they have schools, mm -hmm. uh, activity. And then sila para Paul, I just wanted to ask, Coach, may meron ka bang ini-impart na knowledge knowing that you've exactly. competed in the, uh, the SEA Games, the national mm -hmm. team? Is there, what do you tell the boys because of that experience? Uh, Kaya sabi ko lang sa kanila lagi, it's, it's, lalaki tayo, lalaki din sila. It's, mm -hmm. Nothing different. Pantay pantay yeah. lang. Pantay pantay lang. Oh, oh ano yung kinakain nila yun din. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. But mas masarap pa kinakain natin. Oh, mas masarap dito. <laughs> Promise. Uh, Ryu, you know, you talk a bit about being you talk to, about being the youngest in in the group and obviously having to punch up in terms of age. And based on hearing you right now, you're obviously very vocal. How do these guys make sure that even though the age gaps are different cuz it really is a big difference in the yeah. age levels 18 17 16 right and you being as young as you are how have they embraced you made you part of this older group actually fun fact about our team i call the older teammates manongs <laughs> so i call them manongs yeah. and i ask help from them whenever i am getting confused with the drills mm -hmm. honestly it just helps us merge as one team as well coach said that they took us uh, they scouted us from the team and took on the factor our attitudes of course, as one team, we need to have proper attitudes for us to merge properly. Mm -hmm. And with them teaching me how to be part of the team and me being able to contribute my best because of me being part with them, yeah. I think that's one way of saying that, oh, 
we are one team right now and our attitudes did comply with each another. We complemented each other to a point where we were able to bring out the best in each other before the tournament. Mm -hmm. Again, if they win the tournament, which is in Japan, yes. uh, they will be on their way to the USA and Texas in July to represent the Asia Pacific region. We'll end with yep. one question and you can speak for the boys. Sure. Why baseball? It's not the most popular. A lot of people go basketball, football. Why baseball? Tell, sell it to us. Okay, so basically for me, it's actually a funny story how I started out baseball. I was basically actually forced to join. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically this summer, I was looking for something new to try. I tried like basketball, soccer, volleyball. Nothing really stuck to me. Mm -hmm. But then eventually, my mom tried. And my mom tried convincing me, hey, why don't you try baseball? Because my parents said the Salguinas, they were offering a baseball program. Mm -hmm. So like, Okay, why not? Let's try this. But I was like hesitant, very really hesitant at first. Mm -hmm. So I tried it out. It was actually pretty fun. And eventually, the, the coach apparently was looking for players to play for the varsity team. Mm -hmm. And I guess ever since, it's been a passion of mine for the last mm -hmm. nine years. You knew it, Pao. There's a scarcity of there baseball is. players, so also, you gotta get the other kids. You gotta into, try. You yeah. gotta into, try. To and baseball. Uh, there you go. For you me, never know. Yeah. I believe like baseball, sure. It's not a very popular sport, but I do believe that it can be one of the top sports in the Philippines. And, yeah. it, and like, it might be because of you guys. If yeah, you, hopefully, you do yeah, very well, you never you know. Well. Thank you very much for being here. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, we're, we're all rooting for you. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Thank you so much, much for your support.